Mic check one, two. What it is, what it do, fam. Your boy, Big Cook in the building. Like I said, mic check one, two. Your boy, Big Cook in the building. The Niners draft Camla two. Mic check one, two. Camla two. Yeah, let's get it, man. We drafted a Georgia Bulldog, and we drafted an Alabama Crimson Tide guy. And so you got to get guys with pedigree when you're, you know, talking about building a, a program, building a, a culture. You know what I'm saying? And so even though Cameron Latou, I looked up some of his stats and he wasn't, you know, a main target. He still produced. He had eight touchdowns one year, four touchdowns one another year. And so I feel like this was a great pick for the Niners, even though he's going to be a backup tight end. He's going to be playing behind George Kittle. I can see him learning the game and being that, like I said, the pedigree. He played for Nick Saban. He's a champion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, played for one of the greatest, if not the greatest, college organization in football. You know what I'm saying? And so I love this pick right here. SEC boy, let's get it. And then I'm going to break down Robert Bill. I love this pick as well, too. Another SEC boy, another Bulldog. And the only reason why I feel like he dropped so far in the draft is because he was playing behind guys like Jalen Carter, guys like Nolan Smith. He was playing behind a stacked defensive line at Georgia. And he's a fifth-year senior. I looked up his stats. He has about seven and a half sacks, uh, 20-something pressures or something like that. And that was just like in one year. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like uh, when you're drafting later on in the draft, you can kind of take a flyer on guys with traits. And Robert Bill Jr. definitely has the traits. Like, you, like I said, you talk about 4-4 speed coming off the edge. Uh, you get him paired up with a guy like Nick Bosa, that can be pretty scary on this defense, man. And so we drafted a guy who played on the number one defense the past two years in Georgia. And we're putting him, we're sticking him right next to a guy who played on the number one defense in the NFL, Nick Bosa. And so I love this pick. He's a bulldog. He, like I said, he has pedigree playing for Kirby Smart, um, playing for a national champion defense. And now he's going to be playing for one of the best defenses in the league, in the NFL. I give this pick an A, a solid A. And the Camel 2 pick, I'm going to give a B. I, I will be breaking down more of our draft picks in upcoming videos, but I'm not going to try to do it all at once. I'm trying to, you know, break it down piece by piece. I'm going to do like two at a time or something like that. But I'm going to say congratulations to these kids for finally fulfilling your lifelong dream of, you know, making it to the NFL. And um, even whether you guys be successful or whatever, just the, the fact that you guys made it to the NFL, you guys are a success.